Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. So today we are going to do a Jenga block tiki beach bar. I've been wanting to do one for a while now and so I'm just getting around to it now. We are going to be using the tumbling tower block game from Dollar Tree. It comes in 72 pieces in a box and you can find it in the toy section at Dollar Tree. You also want to make sure that you have an L-shaped carpenter square ruler. It can be found in the hardware section. I'm going to be using Wellbond, but you can use uh, the DT wood glue. Just make sure it works on wood. I never suggest using any hot glue at all because it won't last long term. And if you're going to put the time and effort to make a build, it's always great to make sure that it won't fall apart. Um... The only thing I suggest is making sure that you read the instructions on the back for drying time. This one says about an hour, but cures in 24. I always like to do my builds at night so that I can let them totally dry and so they're solid and they don't shift because sometimes they will shift even though it says an hour. If you move a block or you're trying to glue a bunch of pieces together, sometimes they do shift. It's happened to myself. I started this months ago where I say flat and stack, so I'm just gonna explain that. When I'm gluing blocks and I say flat, it just means the thinner side of the blocks is we're gluing them just side by side. When I'm doing a big build like this, I do pre-glue my pieces, so my tutorial's not three hours. So I do it in sections and then we glued in sections just to make sure we can put everything together and I do it prior so I'm not changing my video later. Sometimes I do uh, throughout the video will explain to maybe add or minus uh, a layer or I would think it would look better. So make sure you watch the full video. I will go with this one because I'm not sure a little bit near the end how many blocks. So we will go together and I will say the total blocks at the end. But I will go by sections and let you know the total pieces per section. When I do glue my blocks, I keep them like that and I move them as I glue them all around my desk pad. Now you can purchase this. This one is really, really dirty. Um, this one is from Ikea and the blocks don't stick to it. So it works perfectly. I have tried a silicone mat and the shifting of the blocks does not work. So I don't use a silicone pad, but you can get them at Ikea. We're gonna start off with the base of this build and where to go. I'm just gonna cover it up so that you, we can go step by step. If you ever have a problem, you're more than welcome to reach me on my Facebook or Instagram page, The Crafty Shopper. Please do give me at least 24 hours to respond because I do get a lot of messages and I do get a lot of uh, people sharing what they've made. Um, so just be mindful of that. Summertime is a little bit slow for me. I'm super busy with being out of town, cutting grass, cottage, uh, family in town. So I try my best after work to get some crafting done. So just bear with me in the summer and then I'll be full force when the fall comes. So we're going to start off with the first row and it's going to be flat. And you're going to do four rows like this. And all together here is 21. Now this is going to be the base that we're going to build the tiki slash beach bar on so we're starting off with 21 and we're going to need four rows of that so you're going to have a second row third and fourth row and we're going to do one more row but we're going to change the block left to right sideways and we're going to add seven so this is 91. i'm just going to move this piece right out of the way Now, this one here, I'm going to call it the bottom sides of the bar. And I'm just going to show you one row here. So we're going to call this bottom sides of the bar, and it's going to be 17. And we're going to need another row of 17. So you're going to do, that is uh, 34. But you're going to need two of these. So we're going to have two of these, so it's 34. Now that's 68. So you need two of those. And then we're gonna do the bottom sides, just little areas of the bar. And you're gonna do 
two rows of two, two, and two, and you're gonna need four of these, just like that. Now, at, before you glue them, I do suggest any glue that comes out from whether it's Well Bond, DT glue, or anything like that, I do suggest using a buffing block, and you can find a block like this in Dollar Tree. Just make sure that you buff out any glue that does come out through the cracks because whether you paint or you stain them, it won't stain or paint properly and you will see through it. Now we're gonna put this bottom part together and let it dry. So we're gonna grab back to the base and we're gonna take one of these we're gonna place it right in the middle. So I'm just gonna do two and two on each side. You're gonna place it right near the back and you're gonna glue that on. We're gonna take two of the sides, the two and two. Hmm, this block's not very good. And we're gonna, I'm gonna stick that on the inside and we're gonna glue it to the base and to the back side, just like that. Same, just like that. Then we're gonna take the second part and I'm gonna put it right here, just above this lot, this last second last row here and place it right on there. And I'm gonna do it center so it matches the evenness of the back. And we're gonna place two of these. You're gonna glue on the bottom and the side. So these are like the supports that keep those up. And sometimes I find, and I'm going to show you here in a second, this one's kind of on an angle. So sometimes one block is a little bit longer than others. And you might just want to flip it over so you can just do it just like that. And then we're going to glue it. So the front part, you'll have one row plus the last row of seven so that you have a little bit room because that's where we're going to put the bar stools. So I'm going to glue this together and I'm going to move it to the side after I let it dry for a bit and let that dry overnight, but we're also gonna put another piece together today. All right, while the other piece is drying, we're gonna put another piece, but we're gonna keep it flat when we dry this part. So we're gonna move on to the back top of the bar. Some bars have it closed in the back and I wanna put a back part to it so I can put something on it. And we are going to do a row of 15. And that's just flat and we're gonna do four rows so like that there's four rows we're gonna move that to the side for a sec so that ends up being 60 blocks then something that sits on the top part where you put your drinks on the top back of the bar I'm gonna cover that up for a sec so we're gonna start off with the first row of 18 I'm gonna move this around and do it this way. Sorry, it's just the way I have it written down. So, so a row of 18, then we're just gonna put one block glued right onto that. Then we're gonna do a third row and that's three and three, which is six. And then we're gonna do another row of 18. So that's 44. So we're gonna move that one before we glue it together. And then we're gonna do these ones here and I'm gonna call them the side brackets of the top of the bar. And you can see these are not flat, they're stacked. So when I said earlier about stacked, gluing the wider part together just like that. You're gonna do a row of three, but you're gonna do four rows of three, which is 12. You need two of these and that's 24. Now we're gonna glue this section together, what I just showed you. So we're gonna go back to the back top of the bar. We're gonna grab the top of the actual bar and you're gonna glue it along the line here and you're gonna make sure it's centered just like that. I don't wanna stick my head so I hope it's even right there underneath the camera. And then we're gonna take our two brackets and you're gonna glue it along the side here and onto the base. So as long as it's centered and you're just going to glue it just like that. And we're going to let this piece glued together and dry just like that.
All right now I let both the pieces dry for at least two hours so you can see it it's not fully dry but it's still movable same with the back now we're going to place the second one right over top of the base and it is going to be longer on the sides here and you want a little bit of a lip over the front you can put it right on even with the back part of it because that will give you a nice lip on the front and it's a little bit longer on top and that's what you want and you're just going to glue it right on top all right, so I let it dry for 24 hours. So as you can see, it's a solid, it was just the back piece that I wanted to put. I was originally gonna leave these uh, four blocks out, but I wanted something more solid just for the back piece, just because it's a little bit taller and drying time is the key guys. Now, before we put some front brackets and the roof on, I do wanna paint it first, just so it's a lot easier to do before we do that because it'll be a little bit harder to get into paint now you can paint it whatever color you want i'm going to do the stain and i'm just going to use this um, gel stain and it's dark walnut and it's from rona now with stain you just got to make sure there's little glue pieces little glue marks because the gel stain and paint when you go over it doesn't cover very well and you'll see more of the spots but i am just going to do that and Get that painted before we move on to the next step all right so now we're going to move on to the roof originally i didn't want to put the roof on only because i had a different idea but once i played around with it i didn't find it was going to be solid enough to do on an angle unless you cut the blocks i know everybody doesn't have um a cutting machine to do so i do have one but i try to kind of change it up from tiki to beach bar as i said earlier in the video so I'm going to go more with the beach bar theme. Um, you can still add the tiki stuff into it as well, just because it is the beach vibe. So we're going to start with the top and the top one is the total of 84 blocks. We're going to do um, 12 rows of seven flat and you're going to go all the way down and you're going to do 12 of those of seven and then you're going to have one flat piece. And then we're going to do the front, front supports where originally I was going to do three on an angle, but it doesn't hit enough that it would have a proper seal on it, if that makes sense. So we are going to do stacked two, just like the back, but except the back was three stacked all the way down. We're going to do two, so two, four, six, eight, and you're going to need two of those. And we're going to bring back the beach bar that I already glued together and stained. And it was a lot easier I found this way to do inside if you had the extra brackets on top. So it just makes it easier now to glue on. I am just going to glue the four facing forward right near the front. Depends where you want to position them. And then we're just going to take the top and you're going to just seal the glue. And I think that's just going to be a better fit than originally with the three on an angle because it doesn't hit that much there and I'd be worried about the top falling off. So I am just gonna glue those on and once I have those all glued on, I'm gonna leave it overnight and in the morning, I'm going to stain it just like the base. All right, I have it glued on. I just wanna show you a couple options if you do wanna save um, a little bit of blocks or if you don't have enough for the top of the beach bar. Dollar Tree sells these uh, four squares. If you actually glue four of them just like that on the sides, this will actually fit the top of the beach bar. There's that option. I'm gonna show you two more. These ones are from Dollar Tree. I've had them for a while now. There's wood hanging, uh, wood hanging decor. These actually fit two. You can get two of these if you want to save your blocks. Glue those together and it fits nicely right on top. And the last one are just these uh, metal signs they have that DT. And they just fit right in the groove in each other. And you can just make it as big as long as you want. And you can glue those as well. And that would work for the top if you don't have enough blocks for this. 
Now the next thing we are gonna do, I wanna put lights in it and I wanna put them on top. So I'm gonna show you here. It's finished here. So I'm just gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna hold it on an angle. So this is the top part of, let me see if I can lean it. Okay, I can lean it on there. And see the little glue marks? I didn't wipe them off good enough. That's why they're not stained there, but that's okay. It's on the bottom or on the very top that you can't see. So in here, I'm just gonna use some fairy lights and I usually buy these from Walmart and there are 20 of them for, or sorry, 10 of them for like $20 with delivery. I'm gonna use two of them. I'm just gonna hot glue them and I'm gonna just go back and forth so the light's even. And I'm just gonna conceal it. I'm gonna take it, unravel it all. And I'm just gonna hide it right on the back side here. And you just wanna make sure that you have the bottom part so this opens up here if you need to change the battery. So I'll just hot glue it down and then I'll just put the wire underneath and glue it right on the underside of the top. All right, now that I have the lights glued in, um, I wanna put some shelves in the back, so it really depends on what you wanna put on the back shelf. Uh, you can put stickers, you can hang some of the uh, starfish that they have or sand dollars. It really depends on what you wanna put on the back. I'm gonna do some shelves and I'm just gonna make them skinny shelves. I've already painted them. They are just four blocks glued together flat. And once I painted them uh, black, I just used some matte Mod Podge just to get them a little sheen and to um, just a little bit more shiny. And I'm gonna place them right about there and I'm just gonna let them I don't want to put my head underneath roughly like that. I'm just going to put them center in the back. I have a couple little uh, things that I want to put on there after. And I thought about, I wanted to put a decal here. And I had a, a Margaritaville with the parrot on it that I got from Timu. And I cannot find it. I don't know where it is. Of course, I can't find it when I need it. But Dollar Tree had these stickers. So it's just an idea I don't know, I was thinking about vacation as either this one or this one. For now, I'll just put this one. I am just gonna hot glue it because it's not as sticky, but I'm just gonna put it higher up on the shelf because I wanna put a few little small things on there, just kind of like that and glue the shelves on. All right, so I put these hooks in here. This is just from a hanging clip, a hanging picture uh, kit. Sorry about that. Uh, they're just little hooks like this. I wanna hang some lanterns on the front. Now I used um, a little, a tiny little drill bit before I started screwing them in because it's hard to go through the Jenga block and I didn't screw them in totally. I didn't want them to go through the other side, just a little bit. Now I got these two little lanterns a little while ago from Timu and it was like, uh, $1.92 Canadian. Uh, our dollar compared to the American dollar is a lot lower. So I'm not sure exactly. I'm sure it'd probably be a couple cents, maybe 10 to 20 cents cheaper. And I want to hang them right here. They don't have any little hanging things. And no, they don't light up either. But I th still thought they were super cute. I'm just going to use a fishing line to hang them on there. And you can just loop them through the hole. But before I do, once I, I wanted to put the hooks in first, but I wanted to hang some jute rope. Now this is also from Timu. And does anybody else shop at Timu? Because my cart's always full and I sit back and forth. I always find there's just cute stuff that you can't get really in any of the dollar stores that we have here. So it's always nice when I'm looking for stuff that I'll be able to find it. Now this roll is 16 feet, 16.4 uh, feet, and it was 342. And it's called the DYI Jute Rope Tassel Hemp. Uh, when it does come together though, it has, I'm gonna show you down the line here. It has this little thread and I was just like, wait a minute, it's supposed to be loose like that. But once you take the 
this little piece out and you just pull it all the way out and you just keep going along the line. So I'm gonna put it all around the edge, even in the back, because I found even in the back when I would do it. I know it's upside down the way you're looking at it, but it actually conceals the battery packs that are on the top part in the very back. So I'm gonna just hot glue that on and I'm gonna put the lanterns and hang those with the fishing rope. Right now that we've had that done, we're gonna make some stools right in front of the bar. We're gonna need four more Jenga blocks. I've already painted them. I painted them black and then I just gave them a coat of the matte Mod Podge. And then I did the tops. Now, these are wood slices that they've had at Dollar Tree. Natural wood slices, it's just small Dollar Tree cookies. They do come unfinished. You can paint them any color. I just decided to do um, a top coat just on the top, and this one's kind of blue, and just the sides of it. And I just used the Gloss Mod Podge just to give it a little bit of a shine. And you're just gonna space the mouse, space them out nicely in front of the bar. You're gonna glue that right on top and then just space them out in the front of the bar. Now, I wouldn't use hot glue. I always like to use the well bond just so it makes sure it doesn't uh, fall off. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, um, I decided that I actually wanna add another layer just under the top part of the bar above the stools going around in a couple sections. I'm gonna do that just to add a bit of color. And then on top, right on the middle here, just gonna add this beach sign and I'm gonna glue it a little bit more to the front and I will just use some well bond on a couple pieces here and then use hot glue so it sets right away. It kind of falls over a bit with the jute rope but I just wanna keep that beach part right on top. All right, the next step we are gonna do, so right on top in front of the beach sign, I'm gonna do a little bit behind too because I just, instead of doing the front and back, I am just gonna put some Mod Podge. I'm just gonna use the matte one. I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree sand and I'm just gonna put a little bit around the front and the back of it, just to give it some uh, color on top. And along the strip of the jute rope um, uh, strips that we did around the top, I have some uh, starfish from Timu, some little uh, small ones. And I'm just gonna place them on the front, a few around the front and the sides. And also with the Mod Podge and sand, I am just gonna do it around the beach chairs, uh, stools on the bottom. All right, well, I'm just letting the sand totally dry just cause some spots had a little bit more of Mod Podge than other. Um, the shelves that we did on the inside, on the back wall of the bar is these little bottles and the stickers all in the the way of it but I bought them for Timu now I bought 50 50 of them I think they were five six dollars I'm gonna have to look but you get 50 of them I'm gonna put some random bottles on the shelf and just make it kind of build it around the side on the second shelf and also on the ends of the shelf just a little bit of decor and I just thought these were really cool from Dollar Tree the fairy garden figurines I'm gonna use one one of the uh, flamingo on one of the shelves on one side. I think I'm gonna use the dolphin, I think on another side. Just adds a little bit of a uh, small decor on the shelves. When I was gluing the little bottles on, I just found my second row didn't have enough space in between the shelves and I had this one. So I am just gonna swap it out. So this is from uh, DT, and I'm gonna show you what the package looks like, if I can find it. Um, just the stickers, it's just Crafter Square. I'm just gonna put um, the little Explore and Ocean and Under the Sea right in the middle. When I did that, I was just playing around with it already. I took it off. It actually had enough room for the bottles underneath. So I'm just gonna swap that uh, sign out for this. And I found this in my stash when I was looking for um, some other ideas to put inside it. 
And I know I got this from uh, Timu. Uh, I was going to use it for my Jingle Block camper, I think, once upon a time. I'm not sure. I think that's what I was going to use it for. But I'm just going to wrap it around on the bottom part of the bar where the hanging jupe rope is. I'm just going to string it along there just to add some color. All right, so the next thing I want to finish on top of the bar. I'm just going to do it really simple. I'm just going to add one shell right on top. Dollar Tree had these uh, creepsters. To me, they look like little lizards. Apparently, they change color in water. Um, I did pull them out. He's just rubber, and I just thought he'd look so good. I add a little bit of red just because the red tinge, I find, especially with um, the rustic and uh, stain, it just popped a little bit more. I'm just going to show you here. I'm just going to place him so you can see his whole table or table <laughs> tail on the side and just give him on an angle like he's looking down. I'm going to glue him right on top of here. And on the other corner here, I have this parrot that was in my stash and I like to go to um, secondhand stores sometimes have like little packs in the toy section of a bunch of different little animals and stuff like that I've, that I've used in other builds and you can get them pretty cheap and I just think with the parrot would perfectly go with this so I'm just going to glue him right on top facing forward. All right so I just added one more shell you can see in the corner here just right on top to add um, just a little bit more something that was looking flat. Uh, we're gonna do the base the base of the bar on top I found um, this little uh, tray of beer. It's actually at Dollarama. So all my followers that are here in Canada, just like I am, thought it was super cool. It's actually a magnet you attach to your fridge and it's a bottle opener. Um, but when I saw it, I was just like a mini thing that I could use. And I knew I wanted to do a tiki bar slash beach bar. I thought it would be perfect. I'm just gonna sit it right on top of the build, right on top of the bar. Found in my old, my son's old fish tank was just this penguin, or flamingo, sorry, and it just says Nemeste, and I just thought it would be perfect. I just added a few little pieces off um, a Dollar Tree, uh, what do you call it, a floral pick, and I just glued it right on. I was gonna put that on the shelf as well back to the fairy garden and I can't find the box for it oh yeah here it is I think this is the one with the flamingo in it it was just the little turtle with some coral reef I'm gonna put it right on the base where the stools are and what else on each side of the bottom of the base just to add a little bit of color just a couple pieces of the floral floral pick on the bottom of the base on the sides couple more shells I'm going to throw on there near the base. I have this little uh, crab. I'm just going to sit it on top of the bar. And I'm going to glue all these guys on just with hot glue, guys. And also this octopus. I think it was in my little thing where I got the parrot from. I'm just going to put it on the front bracket just to, as a decor of the bar. Another little thing is just a flower pot with a DT plant on top. Going to put that on the shelf on the bar. I got these wanting to do another build for nautic uh, a nautical build, and I'd never used them. They're just from Timu. They're just actually just, I think they're like Barbie size. So if you have kids that like Barbies and they like to play with their Barbies in the pool or even in the bathtub, I think these would be perfect to use. I'm going to go with yellow just to put a little bit of extra color and just near the bottom of the base where the stools are on the side. And I'm, I'm all about stickers, guys. I don't do cricket, and even though I got one, I don't have time to learn it all. I like this little surfboard. I'm going to glue it right on the other pillar in the front of the bar. I think that'll just add a little bit more blue on the build with the yellow. Now, there's other things that you can use, and I always like to suggest different things that you can use in the build because 
even though I show you one thing, maybe you can't find it and it gives you just some ideas. And these are from Dollar Tree. They're actually, it's a little bit smaller than the other crab I have, but these are in the Dollar Dollar Tree section of the kids. Just don't let them touch water because apparently they grow 600 times the size. But these are also cool things that you can use with your nautical build, as well as the fairy garden also had, like if you didn't find the parrot, you could also put um, the seagull or penguin, no, seagull on top with, uh, it's not a seagull, I'm trying to remember the name now and I can't remember. You can put it on top of the build as well. They have a little boat, you could keep that on the side. There's a lot of different possibilities and I always love that you guys do show me and message me on my Facebook page and show me your builds because it's like something that I might not see that you guys see that you add to any of the builds that you make that I've done. I just love it and I really appreciate that. You guys are all amazing crafters. I really, there's a lot of you that uh, Jackie and Stacy, I could totally see this build being a country Western kind of theme bar. Um, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm just gonna get these glued in. Oh no, and it's really sticky. Uh, I'm gonna get these placed in. I'm just gonna glue them with hot glue, place them, and I'm gonna show you the final build. All right guys, so here it is, all finished. I did add a piece of driftwood, just Dollar Tree has a little bag of driftwood. I just thought I wanted to add a little bit something there. I think it turned out pretty well and now I'm just gonna close uh, I'm gonna try to close the blind and then I can show you what it looks like with the light with the lights on inside all right guys so here it is all lit up on the inside let me know what you guys think of it are you gonna make one and if you do what type of bar are you gonna do it's kind of a little bit of a mix between a beach bar and a tiki bar please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think in the comments happy crafting and see you soon if you do want to see a closer up picture uh, a still shot you can find it on any of my social media on instagram or on my facebook page the crafty shopper have a great day bye